Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I'm up, ready to start my day. Slept in a little bit today, just a little bit. Not like not like 10 o'clock, more like 7 o'clock sleep in. Got up, took Maxine for a walk. Today was her stubborn day. She went and she literally just sat in the driveway. She didn't want to go. And I'm like, are you seriously not going to go right now? So we stayed in our driveway and she just sniff in. So I let her sniff because you know she's checking out the area. Then we finally start walking and then she just stops. So I like carried her a lot of the way and then she just stopped. I don't think she was tired. I think she just wanted to go a different direction. <laughs> so I'm like, let's go. <laughs> Come on, dog. So we got home. We got on our walk. We got home. Got my cup of coffee here. Drinking my cup for the morning. And then I'm like, okay. I went upstairs and sat at my desk for a little bit. And I've got my list of things to do. I had to make a phone call this morning. And I'm like, I'm going to just work down my list a little bit today. I have a lot of odd and end things to do. And I thought, I'll work on that list. I also have life to do today. You know, kids, school, all those good things. Food. We're hoping, hopefully tonight, we're going to go to our um, county fair. We have one here. I don't know. We, we had one in the mountain. Michigan, we had one. Michigan, we had a county fair. We went to it every year. Well, not every year. Did we go every year? Pretty much every year. I think we pretty much went every year. And then we moved to the mountains. The mountain had one. I never went to the mountain state fair. It was a lot bigger. Um, and we just, I never went. A couple of my older kids went. And so here, they have one here. I'm sure it's pretty big too, but we haven't. I'm like, let's go. Let's just go to the county fair and see. But we hope the weather is going to hold off. It's supposed to be like who knows it's like 75 today which is good it's like getting warmer and then like i think it's gonna drop tomorrow so strange weather i just need the sunshine to come back but it'll get there it is winter time <laughs> it's winter so you just go with it but i'm like okay 75 means a little muggy we're good let's just roll with it today so hopefully later tonight we'll be able to do that we'll see how the weather is it's supposed to rain i think just this afternoon so It'll be good, but regardless, we gotta make some food. And I've got, so we put my furniture together upstairs yesterday. We got things to do. So are you ready for a great day? I am ready for a great day. All right, let's get some stuff accomplished in the home. Let's go. One thing that's been on my list, one of my viewers told me that I completely forgot about. I remember back in the day, here it is. This, I've got my little cart right here. I stuck it over here, but I also put my trash can right here. And I think I like that. So the drawers, the sliders are just wood on the side. It's not like, plastic and so um one of my viewers said rub the side with soap and i'm like ah oh, i remember that back in the day so i'm gonna try that and do that and see if that uh, helps the sliding of it so i've got a little soap here from hotel and i'm thinking if you just i think from what i remember you just wipe it right on the the wood part i think it's just supposed to make it slide <laughs> i remember this as a kid reading this little life hack so we'll see if it Let's see if that does anything. Okay, that made it better. It doesn't want to pull, so let me do it on both of these, or all of these actually. That works, it made it slide a lot smoother, so thank you for your recommendation. The next thing I usually do every day is check the food situation. I do plan on, I have been on Saturday planning for the next week and writing down um, meals for the week. I don't usually ever do that, but I have been doing that because I am on trying not to shop as much and just get, use up things that I have. So I know what I'm making for dinner tonight. We're gonna do flatbread tacos. I'm just checking to see, which I already see, we already have leftovers. So this is good. So we have, I know there's beef and rice in here. These are, potatoes so sometimes they get eaten sometimes they don't so i need to see if i need to keep these and freeze them or put them always check your refrigerator and freezer and see what you've got for food so I kind of changed things up just a little bit based on what I had and so I'm gonna do for breakfast they asked for smoothies and so I thought for whatever reason I thought I had tons of bananas so I'm like I'll buy tons of the almond milk and we'll make lots of smoothies we don't have tons of bananas I have one container of bananas left <laughs> so that's okay but I do have strawberries and stuff so I'm gonna use this and some of the strawberry sauce and we will make um, smoothies for breakfast that'll be good and they can have um, I think that's pretty much we'll have that L lunch I was gonna do leftovers I do have fried rice the ham fried rice but um, 
it's not a favorite of everybody. They like it, but it's not like whatever. So I'm thinking, I've got some leftover tater tots in there. I'm like, what can I do with the tater tots? So what I'm gonna do is I pulled out of the freezer a package of buffalo chicken. It's just buffalo shredded chicken. I'm gonna heat that up. And then I'm gonna put some on a tortilla and put some cheese on it and just kind of make like a quesadilla. I'm gonna do those and then cook some tater tots for lunch. I think that's gonna be our lunch. I think that's gonna be a good lunch. And then dinner tonight is gonna to be flatbread tacos. That's easy. I bought the biscuits a while ago. They're still good in the freezer for dinner. And so I'm gonna do that for lunch, for dinner. So then that'll be our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If they want more, there is the rice in there. That way, you know, sometimes when you have something they don't all love, it's like it's good to have it like, you know, another day later. So we'll have that tomorrow. That's not a big deal on that. But I'm thinking, I'm like, hmm, that sounds like a nice, meal for everybody so i'm gonna start making it because you know why life gets busy and then um school happens and everything else and i also have to get upstairs today i still like i said i started putting together the tv stand i just have to finish it so i'd like to get up there to work on that like in the afternoon when i do my working but for now let's make our food so i'm gonna get some pots out and we'll cook our meat the flatbread tacos are simple you just take hamburger and we usually do um pinto beans but i'm gonna see what kind of beans i bought i don't remember what i bought at the store I looked and I have pinto and I had the chili beans. So I'm gonna actually do one can of the chili beans so it's got the sauce and one of the pinto beans. This right here is just shredded chicken, frozen. Wait a minute, oh scissors, even better. Um, with buffalo sauce. Buffalo chicken, it was a freezer meal. I'm just gonna heat it up. We can have this plain. I'm gonna even do like a salad and have it over salad. I think that sounds good. I actually shut this off. I forgot we did it last time on um, the waffle iron and everybody loved that. Want to save your days, get your food done early just to save yourself some time and sanity because it does it does get busy. It's looking dark out, but it's not. It's dark in the morning time. So I think last time all I, I didn't even stretch. I don't think their hair, would that be my hair? It was in the can. Um, yeah, that's not good. I think we put four on here. I'm pretty sure. I think I just set them on there. I think last time I pulled them apart, it didn't matter if I pushed, put them apart or nothing. So I'm just gonna do that. Let it do its thing. <laughs> now we used to do them on, it would roll them out with a rolling pin and put them on a griddle and cook them flat. You can do that too. But like, these work great, <laughs> they have the texture. What you're gonna do is make a sour cream mixture. We use sour cream and ranch. Spread it on there, put your meat on top of your lettuce. It's really good. So I'm gonna work on this. I'm also gonna work on another recipe. I saw this one, I don't know, it came across social media and it was using um, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And then it was healthier version, it was pro high protein by using fat-free cottage cheese and they blended it, made it smooth with ranch and lemon juice. Will it be good? I don't know. I like that. Do you remember that salad we used to make it with? I think it was with Miracle Whip. It was nice and creamy. I just didn't, so I stopped eating it because it had so much Miracle Whip in it and just didn't like love that. I knew that wasn't the best for me. But this sounds really good because I like cottage cheese. So I think it will be a good recipe. So what I'm going to do is take, um, you have to chop your broccoli and your cauliflower really small. So I wonder if I can do it in the food processor without annihilating it. Do you think I can do that? I think I can. So let me just put a little bit in here. I don't want it like to make it super tiny, but I feel like I'll be able to do it in here without it. We'll see. We'll see. So let's stick it in here. I might have to do a little bit at a time here.
So it's time to blend it really smooth. The longer you blend it, it gets smoother. I wonder if I can do it in the blender or in this food processor versus the blender. We'll see. So it says, oops, I don't think you pound that. <laughs> yes, don't do that. A tablespoon of your um, ranch powder and then a teaspoon of lemon juice. And that's what it's salt and pepper. So we will add that as well. tastes like ranch. I'm like, I'm debating. I'm like, is it good? It's good. It just tastes like, it tastes like ranch is what it tastes like. It tastes like ranch. It tastes like ranch, like cottage cheesy ranch, which is weird. So that's good. I'm going to mix it all together, see what it does. So I'm just going to put this in here and mix it up. It makes the cottage cheese like fluffy, if that makes sense. Like it's light and airy. So is it better than eating a whole bottle of ranch on your stuff? Absolutely. Can you tell it's not a whole bottle of ranch? Absolutely. <laughs> but does it taste bad? No. I just saw this. They said it was high protein. You know, as you get older, it's good to eat high protein. All those good things. So I don't know. We'll try it. I think they did this with. They probably do more. I wasn't sure how much to make. It doesn't look too bad at all, and they put everything bagel seasoning on it. Let's try it with a big spoon. So is this like an award-winning dish? Eh, I guess. But I guess if it's an alternative to something that would be higher calorie, it's good. I mean, it's crunchy. You'll get all the crunchy veggies like you would a salad, and then you get the creaminess that you would get normally of the ranch without the ranch having it be high protein and put the everything bagel seasoning on. So not bad. So this would be good with like the buffalo chicken, like as a side with it, and that'll be a good um, munchie. I'll put it, I'll eat it today. I mean, I'll be eating it for the next couple days. I don't know if anybody else will try it, they might, but not bad at all. It's definitely a better alternative than pouring a big bottle of ranch on this. There you go. <laughs> These are all done. These are great. You don't have to do them like the waffles. We just do. Everybody likes them. So that will be, let's see, goes right there. The meat, it was one of those solid pieces of meat. It was frozen, so it's gonna take a while to cook. Almost there. This is good, it's just taco seasoning. And I used to add two cans of pincho beans, but I did one of the mixed chili beans, which has black beans, um, kidney beans, and red beans. And then I did, I rinsed out one pinto. So this is it. There's our meat topping. That's hot, can't show you. There's our meat topping, it's great. This will go on top of the little waffle things. That part of dinner is done. I like gathering fragments and getting creative with things. And so these little tortilla things are going to be great. So it'll be something different because the kids will be expecting the fried rice, which they don't love. I mean, they'll eat it, but it's not like a lovable thing. So these will be really nice. I have very, I only have a few tortillas, so I'm filling them more because I have less tortillas, just making them thicker. But this is where I'll do some with cheese, and then I'll do some with one for dairy free too. Look at that. Put right on here. 
I'm gonna chunk of chicken right there. And this I'm just gonna get out. Are we gonna have it right now? No, it's gonna be for lunch. Because frozen, I'll get them on a cookie sheet. And we'll put those in the oven and that will be served with our little tortillas. And look at a few fragments. I gather them up. Nothing went to waste. Let's just separate. They do like tater tots. Sometimes they go through a phase where they eat a ton and then they don't eat many at all. So this was doing really good. I just have to finish and make my um, sour cream mixture here. And um, that'll be a chop up some lettuce too. We need lettuce, don't we? Let's get that out. So the mixture that you put down on your waffle is sour cream and ranch powder. This is very, very good. So I'm gonna put this in here on the spatula. What I found is the lactate ones don't have as much liquid. Is that what makes the, you know how every time you dump, like I usually store all my stuff upside down. So when you, um, that whole thing goes in, it like, you know, it gets the liquid, it separates, it's like, ooh. But I noticed with the lactate one, it doesn't have that. That's probably what makes the liquid. You just stir this. So simple, very easy. I gotta make more taco seasoning. I just used the last little bit, so I'm gonna have to make a note to make some more taco seasoning for my jars, because we really liked it last time. Okay, perfect. Just stir this and pipe those right back in here. The other thing I would do is make a smoothie. This is the strawberry sauce we made. They've been eating it with yogurt. I think they went through a whole container of yogurt. I have another one, so I will pour that in there. It'll mostly be a strawberry smoothie, I think. Let's do strawberry smoothie because I don't have um, that much stuff. I have to go get some almond milk out in the garage. I will just leave this here so when the kids come down, probably when we start reading, which is in a few minutes, they will just sip on that. And the only other thing I have to do is chop up some lettuce. Let me do that real quick. beautiful thing is I'm finished in my kitchen for the day. I like to, some days I don't mind being in the kitchen for a long time, some days I just like to get it out of the way. And since we are gathering fragments, using things up, I gotta get a little creative with things, which I did today, so they'll be happy with. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner will be nice. So that'll be a good treat to have. We still have popcorn over here, they're munching on that stuff, which is a good thing. So now I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna do our stuff that we do like during the day where school and the little bit of chores that we do together, that kind of stuff. And then I'll meet you back upstairs and we will continue putting together the TV stand and getting that set. I need to uh, get some decor and stuff, but at least it's up there, it's in, and I like it. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, I made it to my afternoon. So this day has been good. We had a good getting things done downstairs. We had lunch, we did our school. Greg came home for lunch day. It's pouring rain out right now downpour outside. We were supposed to go to the fair tonight. I don't think that's going to happen with the rain. It was got sunny, Greg, at moment. It was super sunny. And then like it got gloomy again. Now it's rainy. So I don't know what the weather's going to be. We'll see how the day goes. But we got our school stuff done. We're finishing up our book. It's pouring. Can you hear that? <laughs> Can you hear that? So the rain might mean that we just stay home today. We will see. So I got stuff downstairs finished up. What I want to do is finish this upstairs. We have replaced our TV stand with this one. Our TV stand we brought with us, but moving it here, I like a lot of my smaller stuff I took apart because we moved 
and all that there was I mean our whole life was in two trucks a lot of extra weight not super good I mean we had to jam pack it in there it wasn't like I could take three trucks we did two and it was just jammed in there and so it got broken and I knew that was going to and so um, we used it and I'm like okay let's replace it and so this house has definitely a different vibe than our other house I did more like the I did a lot of the farmhouse design in the old house and so this one is just doing a little bit different because it's just a different area and a different style house so the upstairs living room here I wanted to change a few things up here so that was the TV stand so there's a much lower TV stand but our couches are much lower everything is like on the ground low that's how like if you look at the furniture in here couch is down low this one's on the ground so that's what we have going on in this room so I wanted the same thing for the TV stand so this is lower the TV up here is really high right now but we're gonna lower it so it's more on eye level which will make this a little bit more warmer and inviting I like this piece this is the same company that we got our um, coffee stand from the coffee stand downstairs and good quality coffee and also the one with the mirrors the little sideboard table the girls have it in their bedroom very good quality very very good quality construction just the great way that it puts together so I was putting it together last night so putting this together was great easy to put together I was Greg's like I'll help you do it and I'm like I got this I feel like I can put this all together myself and I did it was super simple to put together I questioned myself a few times doing it but for the most part it was very simple just screw it together look at the instructions and put it together everything was laid out really well and got it done pretty quick probably my favorite thing is that the screws are like they're magnetic and they stick right to the drill head which is nice so is it because the screws are magnetic or is the drill head magnetic i don't know i don't think the other stuff that i'm trying to think when i put the other furniture together i don't think it's stuck to this the drill head so i think that they're magnetized which is kind of nice that makes it so much easier so much easier putting it together and these are my favorite pieces here at the end these are the little like on the back remember back in the day when the wood pieces would just push through all the time and your back of your thing would come apart and then it would get wobbly that's what happened to all of mine <laughs> this is nice because they have these little plastic triangles that stick on the back screw them in and it holds that back on and it's so much better so very happy with getting this done The only thing I have to do is the doors on here. I love this because the wood matches the floor in here. So the inside is the same color as the floor, but the outside is black. So it kind of gives the nice little bit easy kind of modern vibe in here. So I'm gonna work on putting the doors together so I can stick them on here. The true test is when you put those on, if the door's shut, that's the key. <laughs> it's like, did they shut? Did they not? So two more, so that's good. So I'll get these on and then I'll be done. Pick up my mask back to the floor and then this is great. And Greg said he would probably this weekend, we'll move the TV down because it's up pretty high, but it worked for the last one. So we'll just move it down and then I'll get some nice taller, some plants. I need to decorate this room. I'm gonna get some plants, get a picture for that wall. It's gonna be good.
Okay, so looking at it, giving the wider view, this we're gonna move way down, way, way down. It was up higher. That's why we wanted to do it, but now we're gonna move it down. And in the back, there's like the plug on the wall, um, like that what's back there, but we can move it down like a whole lot, like about a whole lot down where it'd be a lot more eye level and I can put things on it. So now I get to fill it up with my games. I was just in the closet and I had a screw, so I took and screwed on the back of the door wall behind the door, a screw in the wall, and I hung up my wreath, which was just kind of sitting up there. So getting that room organized a little bit. So now I need to put our games in here. I'm thinking I need to be able to put my, um, the games that they're gonna be playing, like the, the Xbox and the Switch, I think goes on top. So the Xbox would probably just go on a shelf. I have to do, the only bad thing is there's no um, access to the outside for anything. So it's just that thin plywood. So I'll have Greg drill a hole right in the back of this, I'm thinking. And then that way we can just plug it in and then go right to the plug right there is what I am thinking is plug back there. Yes. <laughs> Is the plug right there? So I will do that. We'll just run a plug underneath there. Real simple, just have them drill it in and then we can stick that over there and then that can go on a shelf. Probably the bottom shelf maybe. And then gaming's up on top, I'm guessing. That'll probably work. And then I'm gonna put these in the drawers and over here. So let me do some organizing. For the most part, all of our games fit in here, which is great. And then uh, the only one that doesn't is this. I was trying to get this to fit in here. I'm like, is that going to fit in here? I think it fits in the bottom, but not on the top. So should I, re maybe I should just move those. Let me just move those. Hold on. So for the most part, that fits, which is good. We didn't bring a ton of games when we moved. We kind of weeded out and just kept the ones that we really like. I have this. I think when my mom passed away, she had a bunch of puzzles. She had a bunch of Christmas gifts and um, she had a bunch of puzzles in her room. So we took some and I passed them out to the different kids to have some of her puzzles. So I'm gonna probably put this in my closet and um, one day put it together. So, you know, I'm not good with puzzles, but maybe as I get older and life slows down, I will do that. So the most part, this is good. I need to see what this room is for. I have no idea. And then I just have this box of laser tag. I gotta figure out where to put the laser tag. This is gonna be good. This is gonna move down get some green plants, get some nice faces right here. This room is gonna be definitely coming together. So the house you're gonna have to see in phases because like you're gonna be like, why'd you get black in there? It doesn't even match, but it will when we're all finished decorating here. So this will come down and then we'll get the cords in that fixed for the back and then this will be good in here. And then um, we have another table, a couple tables. I like to get some side tables that are dark black as well. Some plants in here and then get some stuff for the wall. This room will be coming together real soon, just slow, slowly but surely, that's how it is. So I think the whole rest of my day is done. It's very rainy outside. I don't even know what it's gonna do. So we got what we wanted to get done today. I wanted to get that TV stand up there, replace the old one, which is nice. Now I just have to wait for Greg to move the TV down and call it done in that room for now. We'll have to do a few things, but that's just gonna be require muscles in my husband to be able to move that stuff down so it can work. So now my food is done. I don't have to do anything else. What we usually do is go for a walk, but it's pouring rain right now. Hopefully it stops and we get a little bit of break in the day and we can get outside and get some fresh air. I don't know if we'll do the fair tonight or not. It looks like it's awful kind of dreary, rainy day. That's okay. Sometimes it lines up that you wanna do everything good and sometimes it doesn't. So you just kind of roll with it. So I'm gonna close today's video. So I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Come back tomorrow. We'll do some more something. I don't know what. Come back tomorrow. We'll do something else. So, all right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.